Thank you, Brittany. Concerns continue this morning in Kaneohe after a Navy aircraft overshot its landing, ending up in the water. Chris Latronic joins us now live from the windward side with more. Chris, good morning. We can see a little bit more now. Visibility getting better. Yes, definitely, Christine. Yes, I'm live here in Kaneohe Bay, right outside of Kaneohe Marine Base, where we could see the P-8 Poseidon naval aircraft in the water. Now, yesterday, just afternoon, a crash happened. Now, around this time uh, yesterday, it was a different story weather-wise. There were reports of lots of limited visibility, lots of cloud cover, heavy rain and wind, and also winds changing direction from even northeast to Kona's all in the same day. So it happened around five, uh, uh, around 1 to 57. The good news is uh, all, uh, there were nine passengers and they all went away unscathed. Uh, but you can see the situation still uh, pretty heavy just with this uh, big aircraft as uh, for a little bit of context, the P-8 Poseidon is uh, similar to the 737. It's just the military style and uh, it did uh, overshoot its landing and went into the water as you can see here. And you can see it is not in any deep water. It is hovering on the reef right there. So very concerning also because it has a big payload of around 10,500 pound of uh, uh, gallons of potential fuel that could be seeped in. But the good news also is the military were on as well as the Coast Guard base is right there on uh, the peninsula. And so they actually got booms around it real quick to make sure none of that those fluids get leaked. Uh, we also have a resident here, uh, Dustin uh, Leandro, uh, who lives in this area. So Dustin, uh, good morning. Thank you for taking us out. And uh, tell me, have you ever seen anything like this? Well, unfortunately, there was, uh, I think there was two, um, uh, what's it called? Two crashes over the last maybe 20 years um, that, um, oops, that falling down over here, that um, I think they both landed on the sandbar. Uh, you know, I think the military is doing good. I think they did, you know, put their BMPs out real quick. Um, you know, we don't see any oil in the water out here, and we're, we're downstream basically from them. So uh, this area, you're well known, uh, fishermen, is this a, a Fishing really concerning debatable. some of the some of the places uh, that uh, this uh, fuel could possibly leak into. Uh, yeah, obviously, um, uh, you can see there's a huge crack in the airplane, so uh, that's kind of concerning. Um, but like I said, we don't see any oil on the water out here, which is pretty cool. Um, but yes, I mean we we all fish in this bay, and uh, of course, uh, Coconut Island's right behind us is a marine uh, research for uh, both HPU and um, University of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And uh, just besides that, it's our bay. So yes, we're concerned. Yes, uh, so the, and there's no timetable uh, that we've got on the removal process or anything like that. But as we get more information, we'll have more on our newscast. We also check our website, kh12.com, for the latest. This is Chris Tronic working for Hawaii right outside Kaneohe Bay, sending things back to you.